the final big Dragmo Legends event is almost here. In less than two weeks, the Legends Festival will finally begin. Now, we've had a lot of updates into the game throughout the past few weeks, a lot of which revolve around GT. For example, we did get a lot of free-to-play GT units, and we also got a lot of Zenkai Awakenings for a lot of older GT units as well. So it's safe to assume that Legends Festival is more than likely going to have something GT related. But they could also have another banner alongside a GT banner as well. So it made me want to ask the Legends community this question on Twitter. So I asked, Dragon Ball Legends community talk to me with the theme of Legends Festival leaning towards GT. What units would you like to see be revealed during the event? Also, if they were to pair the GT banner with another banner, what would the other tag be? Might use this for a video. So we're going to go through a lot of the responses because I really am interested to see what you guys think. Josh Shaw said, I personally think that the tag banner to get could be the Tournament of Power Super Saiyan Goku and Frieza Legends Limited, or else I think there could be a Legends Limited Ultra unit. Very unlikely, but still, these are my thoughts. Okay, so one thing that I've been saying for a long while, which I'm still very surprised we have not gotten in the game yet, is a Tournament of Power, like, legendary finish unit of Super Saiyan Goku and Frieza from, obviously, the Tournament of Power. That's how they won the tournament. So, yeah, the fact that we don't have that is actually kind of wild. Is that an impossibility? Absolutely not. Again, we got a lot of super hype units in the game, and especially with us now having superhero units in the game, there's literally only, what, one other unit, or character in general, I should say, from Dragon Ball Super Superhero that we could realistically get, and that is Orange Piccolo. Unless, again, they give us, like, an LF of Gamma 2, but Orange Piccolo, maybe an LF Gamma 2, and that's really it for Superhero. So, it would be nice for us to get another duo unit and have it be Tournament Power, Super Saiyan Goku and Frieza, Legendary Finish, obviously the move that they utilize to, you know win against Jiren so that would be pretty dope and as far as a Legends Limited Ultra okay I'm gonna be honest with you that would be a fire way to end off the year I'm not gonna sit here and lie but do I think it's going to happen probably not um and it's it's not to say like you know Legends Festival isn't like a worthy event for something like that but something's telling me that if we're going to get a Legends Limited Ultra that's probably going to be for the anniversary. That makes the most sense. Because think about it, we got like all the fusions in the game at this point, and each iteration of the anniversaries has been like something, I guess, relatively big, you know, like Super Vegito, Vegito Blue, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, uh, uh, MUI Goku. But for the fifth anniversary, they really have to bring something big, because again, all the hype characters are already in the game. So. Uh, Legends Limited Ultra for the 5th year anniversary would be insane. So I don't see that happening for Legends Festival, but it's not an impossibility. Legend Central said, I want to see for part 1 a tag Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Vegeta paired with a tag Goku and Frieza from Universe Survival Saga. Then part 2 Ultra Vegito Blue with Legends Limited Gogeta Blue getting a Zenkai somewhere in the celebration. Okay, well, um, you got some wishful thinking. I'm, I'm not going to say anything like that. Okay, so for the part one, I can absolutely see happen. Again, it's related to GT, and it's honestly a unit a lot of people want to see. Because what? The last duo unit we got in the game was actually a two-for-one. It was the androids, and we also did get um, the extreme future Gohan and uh, Trunks as well in the same banner. So that was the last time we got dual units in the game, and that was before the anniversary. So... It's definitely time for us to get another duo unit for sure. And I do think Super Saiyan 4, Goku, and Vegeta would be great. And I have a few thoughts to say about that in a bit. Now, um, paired with the tag, Goku and Frieza from Universe Survival Saga. Again, that would be a good counter banner. Again, like, main banner, GT-focused, you know, Super Saiyan 4, Goku, and Vegeta duo unit. Cool. Obviously, Legends Limited, of course. And then the other banner, um, you know, Dragon Ball Super-focused, Universe Survival Saga, tag, Goku, and Frieza. That would also be great as well. And also, they would be um, an elf unit as well. Plus, uh, with uh, Goku and Frieza, they'd be multiple tags. Now, think about it. That'd be, what, um, Saiyan. That'd be Sun Family. That would be... Well, uh, he didn't really fight, like, as a Super Saiyan. It wasn't until, like, the very end for, like, the LF. So, I guess Super Saiyan probably wouldn't be in a tag. It would just be for the LF. But that's still Saiyan, Sun Family... Um, Universe Survival Saga, of course, that also be LOE, uh, 
I guess it wouldn't be powerful opponent because Frieza's working with Goku, but th that would be a very, very diverse unit. But uh, Super Saiyan 4 is obviously, their attacks are very straightforward. So that would be like really good dual banners for sure. And obviously that'd be for part one, you know, like this month, right? Because obviously leading into December, that's still Legends Festival as well. But an Ultra Vegito Blue, I do not see happening anytime soon. There's no way in the world because what? We just got um, Super Vegito for the anniversary with the last Ultra obviously being Broly. There's no way in the world they're going to buff Fusion Warrior again like that. They're, no, like we literally have Gogeta and Vegito and then you add Vegito Blue again. It's literally just, no, no way in the world. Although it would be cool. I'm not trying to deny that, but I don't see that happening. Although I will say uh, Zen Kai Waking for Gogeta Blue should happen. It should have happened earlier. I don't know why it hasn't, but him getting a Zenkai would be fantastic. And it will also be scary because pairing him up with Beast Gohan would be frightening. Because at that point, you would never cover change. Why? <laughs> like, Gogeta guarantees, like, you know, you're not getting a cover change off for a certain amount of time. And Beast Gohan, if his gauge gets filled, you're not going to be able to cover change anyway. So that's two monsters that are able to prevent you from getting some sort of cover change in there. That would be disgusting. But I can definitely see that Zenkai happening. Ultra Vegito Blue, I don't see happening at all. The other things, though, I can see that happening. Gohan said, I think it's going to be a Goku and Vegeta Super Saiyan 4 LF, and they will be able to fuse into Gogeta Super Saiyan 4 during the battle. They will maybe add a new card, which is going to be Fuse. This Fuse card will open so many gates for new characters, and maybe Super Saiyan 4 Shadow or Super Saiyan Blue. Let's hope good. Okay, so do I believe that um, that is a possibility? Yes and no, and I'll explain. Now, um, actually, you know what, before I get to that, just to get the shallot portion out the way, uh, in the story mode, they're finally, actually, no, I'm not going to say finally. I mean, there's been so many hints towards Super Saiyan Blue shallot, but they just have not given us the unit. So I really don't think Super Saiyan Blue shallot is happening for Legends Festival at all. I, I just don't see it. And I genuinely do not believe Super Saiyan 4 shallot will happen, period. But in terms of Goku and Vegeta, again, Having them be like a duo unit, I see that for sure, right? Like a tag unit, but I don't think that they're going to make them fuse into Gogeta. Now, do I think it's an impossible mechanic? No, because we do have a particular card in the game that can allow that to happen, and that is the Awakening card. So the only issue is they would have to be specifically an assist unit in order to make that happen and the reason being is because as a tag unit you don't have a main ability you have a swap ability which makes you swap to the other character and you know you get different perks and all that good stuff so in order to make that work they would have to be an assist unit so that way it's still technically goku and vegeta but they have a main ability and if you can pop that main then you can get access to your awakening arts card and if you can pop that off then you can fuse into Gogeta. That is entirely possible, but I don't think that they will make a completely brand new card just for that mechanic, especially with how underutilized the Awakening Arts card is anyway. Remember that I, if I'm not mistaken, apart from Bojack, the last unit that had that card was Android 16, the Zenkai unit. That was years ago. Like, that's a multi-year gap before another unit got that card. And then other units that have that card, if I'm not mistaken, are Frost and uh, one of the Ginyu units. So, again, it's a very underutilized card. But they could repurpose it to try to incorporate Fusion if they wanted to. But apart from that, though, uh, do I see that happening for Legends Festival? Not really. It's not impossible, but it could happen, but I don't see it. And Super Saiyan 4 Shallot is obviously not going to happen. Super Saiyan Blue Shallot, I don't think that's going to happen for Legends Festival, but maybe it'll happen sometime in the future. Death Striker said, Me personally, I really want an LF Baby. I feel like Baby hasn't gotten a lot of love in this game considering we barely have any units of him. About 4 or 5. I'm happy that the Blue Baby got a Zenkai, but for the Legends Festival, I'm hoping for an LF Baby who can become an Ozaru. Okay, so do I believe Baby should get an LF? Absolutely. And the fact that we haven't gotten one with an elf is actually just wild, right? I mean, we got, what, a uh, grade 8 Vegeta before we got grade 8 Baby, which is crazy to me. So, I would love for them to give Baby an LF 
finally. I mean, it's... I don't know how it hasn't happened yet. Like, it, it makes no sense to me. So, do I think that can happen for the anniversary? Absolutely. Because they don't have to just have, I would say, the GT banner pertain to just one LF unit. They could definitely make it two LF units on there. But, I mean, if the, again, if there is, like, another banner, then maybe they won't. But it's not an impossibility. I mean, we've had, like, banners have multiple LF units on it. Like, and I'm talking about new banners with new LF units. We've had that happen before. So, it's not impossible. And it is relatively probable. But, again, that really depends on if we get one banner or two banners. Now, about, like, us barely having any baby units, if I'm not mistaken, like, just baby as a character, if it's about four or five, we have more baby units in the game than super saiyan 4 goku then because we have full power super saiyan 4 goku we have the lf super saiyan 4 goku the zenkai super saiyan 4 goku and uh actually if i'm not mistaken i believe that's it unless i'm missing one so i mean baby's getting more love than super saiyan 4 goku which is crazy but all in all though i would definitely be down for this especially because we have grade 8 vegeta in the game grade 8 baby should have been a thing a long while ago Cloak said, considering the fact that most of the festival banners, excluding the UI one, included the future tag, I would love to see a tag Super Saiyan Blue, Super Saiyan Trunks, and Vegeta with the iconic father-son Gala gun as the LF. And just as a bonus, I think we're going to see a Spirit Bomb GT Goku. Okay, so this is probably the most different prediction I've seen out of every single one so far. And what's crazy is, I'm completely on board. Look. And I, you can search up tweets, you can search up, uh, I believe, uh, some streams I did, some videos I've made. I've straight up said a father-son Gallic gun unit would be incredible. It would be incredible. I think there's only two Dragon Ball games that that type of unit is in. And if I'm not mistaken, it's Dokkan. And I know for sure it's in Heroes. So I would love to have that as a unit. It, like, the thing is, for many, many years... The only type of father-son like combo attack we've had in Dragon Ball games was, of course, with Gohan and Goku being father-son Kamehameha. Like, that's been in Dragon Ball games, like, the more modern Dragon Ball games. I'm modern in terms of, like, Budokai 1 and up. Uh, that's been in games since Budokai 2. That was all the way in the early 2000s. So, the fact that we finally now have a different father-son attack, I would love to see that as an LF unit. I think everybody would. And especially because... We've seen it as a summon animation for years now. So to have that as an actual LF would be incredible. Granted, they don't do it like how they did Dragon Fist Goku's LF. I'm not saying his LF isn't clean. I do like his LF. But they took the initial portion of his LF from the summon animation. So I don't want that to happen with... Go uh, sorry. Uh, I don't want that to happen with uh, Vegeta and Trunks. I want their father-son Gallic gun attack to be something completely unique from the summon animation that would get me hyped now as for um spear bomb goku it, if i'm not mistaken it was actually super spear bomb but that would also be cool obviously if you guys don't know that was the attack they used to finish off omega shenron i believe that is also a very iconic moment in gt obviously that's how omega shenron died and if i'm not mistaken it is not represented in legends at all because uh, the Goku GT units, we have base ones, obviously, is the one that did Dragon Fist, and then um, some other ones that just do Kamehameha. So I would actually really like to see this unit get an LF, because that's absolutely LF worthy, especially how they um, have the attack, like land on the opponent and all that good stuff. So this is actually a really unique prediction, and both options are entirely possible. Aiden said, I honestly want to see for Legends Fest to start with double LF banner, Core Breaker Gamma 2 and Orange Piccolo, then for the Ultra in December, an Ultra Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Vegeta that fuse into Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, and a Sparking Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. Okay, so I've already given my thoughts about, you know, like the fusing into Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta mechanic and all that stuff, so I won't get into that. But um, I will say getting a new Sparking Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta would be nice because there's only one in the game, so literally getting a second one would be nice. And two, um, if you guys don't know, that one really cool move that Gamma 2 did finally got a name in Xenoverse 2. It's called Core Breaker. And even though it's really hard to land in Xenoverse 2 for whatever reason, it's still LF worthy. I mean, that moment in Superhero was so fire. So 
I would love to see that happen as a dual LF banner, or actually not a dual L, not dual LF banner, but like a double LF banner, like one banner with two LF units. And if it was super your focus, then definitely like an LF orange piccolo and an LF gamma two. I would love to see that happen for sure. But uh, I I don't know if that would happen. It's not impossible. And to be fair, I mean, the next DLC for Xenoverse 2 is going to have Orange Piccolo. They've already teased it. So maybe we could get the unit in Legends first. And I mean, I mean, I don't know. Like maybe that'll help them like make the character for Xenoverse or something. But yeah, I, I, I just, I don't know. It's not as if that's not Legends Festival worthy, but it, I feel as if there's more or something else entirely that they could add instead of that. So I'm not trying to rule it out, but there's other things I'd like to see personally, apart from that for Legends Festival. So, I mean, not impossible, could happen, but I would prefer to see something else, honestly. All right, look, bro, y'all are actually insane. <laughs> this dude said, personally, I'm just hoping this becomes a unit or we get tag Super Saiyan 4 Bros or a Spark and Master Roshi. Even though I'm completely down for a Spark and Master Roshi, Look, bro. <laughs> All right, look, I'm calling this right now. For whatever reason, right? If the Legends team was like, you know what? We're going to make Indakuba into a unit. That summoning video, I'm getting that unit, me, to 14 stars guaranteed. I don't care if it lasts 30 minutes or if it lasts five hours for the video. I will guaranteed get that unit to 14 stars that video before I even think about showcasing him. Quote me on that. Honestly, I think this is the best one to end off on, but Ordinary said, I would honestly like to see Tag Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Vegeta that can transform into Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta and maybe another Omega Shenron. If there is another banner, I would like to see Tag Super Saiyan Blue Kaoken Goku, but Super Saiyan Blue evolved to Vegeta and another Android 17 from Universe Survival Saga. Okay, so, uh, one, let me get these images on screen, because honestly, I think that this would be, in my personal opinion, the perfect dual banner for Legends Festival if the primary banner is GT focused and the main elf unit is a uh, tag Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Vegeta. If that's the case, then having the similar tag, if you will, with Super Saiyan Blue Kaoken Goku and Super Saiyan Blue Evolved Vegeta, but being the obviously the opposite side, you know, GT and Dragon Ball Super, that would be perfect in my opinion because that way whether you focus on GT and trying to buff that tag, or if you're focusing on like God Key or Universe Survival Saga and you're trying to buff that tag, you have an option for both as well. Because both are equally hype. Both are equally hype, in my opinion. So I would absolutely love to see this happen, although there is a potential downside. And the downside would be that obviously, like one of these two has to happen for sure. But that would also give Saiyans, two tag units, because don't forget, we do have the purple Super Saiyan Blue Goku and Vegeta as well from the Broly movie. And also, I, I said I was going to talk about this earlier, but I think I forgot to do so. So if I honestly forgot, I'll just talk about it right now. The main element factor GT needs right now is purple, because their main purple unit has been the primary sparking purple unit. And not only that, the only purple sparking unit for GT, and that is the Zenkai Super Saiyan 4 Goku. That unit is unfathomably outdated. So GT really needs another purple unit. So I can see Tag Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Vegeta being a purple unit. But then they'll have them battle for that um, Saiyan like tag unit spot with uh, the Super Saiyan Blue Goku and Vegeta as well from the Broly movie. And as for Super Saiyan Blue Kaoken Goku and Super Saiyan Blue Evolved Vegeta, oh. Uh, I mean, Gaki doesn't need a red unit, that's for sure. Uh, I, I don't even know what element factor though, because in truth, I mean, I don't, in this current meta, I really don't use Gaki, but they could be anything. I would say that if they are trying to like sell them as like, you know, fire units and all the good stuff, they could make them blue. I think that if they made them a red unit, that'd be a really big mistake. And also I feel as if, if we were to get another tag unit that's not purple, again, just by default because of GT, then I think blue would be the safest bet. Again, we're currently in a blue unit meta, 
And if I'm not mistaken, uh, when it comes down to God Key, what the main blue unit you would use would be what, like Vegito Blue, because he got his Zenkai, or I mean, if you want to use Beerus, you use Beerus. I'm pretty sure um, I'm probably forgetting some units because again, I don't use God Key right now, but it wouldn't hurt to have them be blue units for sure. And at that point, again, Saiyans would have lots of diversity with tag units because you would have two purple tag units and then a blue one as well. So again, ultimately, it would be a double-edged sword all around, but I do believe that blue would probably be the best element factor for like Super Saiyan Blue, Kaokan Goku, and Super Saiyan Blue Evolved Vegeta. And then for, you know, Super Saiyan 4s, purple is the only element factor. I don't see any other element factor suiting them at all apart from purple. So... Yeah, th this would be perfect all around. And honestly, this is a very diverse list. I mean, when it comes down to big events like these, usually there are like specific units that everybody defaults to. But this time we're seeing tag Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Vegeta. We're seeing tag Super Saiyan Blue Kaokan Goku with Super Saiyan Blue Evolved Vegeta. We're seeing Grade A Baby. We're seeing all sorts of options. This is honestly really, really unique. And seriously, any of these options would be hype to me for sure, but if anything, again, if I were to see Tag Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Vegeta, Tag Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku and Super Saiyan Blue Evolved Vegeta, if I were to see uh, Father, Son, Gallic Gun, Trunks, and Vegeta, that would be incredible as well. Seriously, all these options are ones I'm completely down for, but I do want to know in the comment section below if you guys have any thoughts as to what the banners could be and what the units will be for the Legends Festival, let me know because I really am interested to hear all of your thoughts on the topic. But with that being said, I'm Edekuba, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.